name is Richa Sharma. This is my first video. So uh, please subscribe to my channel to encourage future videos from me. Uh, I've made this channel because I've seen a lot of mis misinformation floating around uh, YouTube about acne and a lot of home remedies which never work. And uh, you know, I've uh, had experience with acne for over 10 years, 10 to 11 years now. And uh, you know, I've tried everything from home remedies to uh, you know, the hormonal pill which is 21, seven, uh, 21 days the pill and 7 days off that pill which was for my PCOS but it also helped with my acne and uh, uh, I've tried the isotretinoin pills which is uh, called Sotrit in India and Accutane overseas. I've tried that also uh, you know and uh, now it does it just doesn't seem to go away so finally i told my dermatologist that you know i've tried so many things so please pres prescribe me something that will actually work so he gave me this um tretinoin cream which uh, i'm in the second month and this has uh, many other benefits uh, i'm really excited to use it because uh, you know this is the only thing which has which is proven to be anti aging it actually reverses photo damage which is damaged by the uva and uvb rays of the sun uh, one second i'll just show you this it's called retino a in india it's a tretinoin cream this is 0.025% mm. And it retails for 192 rupees in India, and uh, I know that it's very expensive abroad, but uh, in India it's very uh, cheap to you know develop a good skincare routine with this. And I'm seeing amazing benefits in around just two months of it. Not exactly the reversing of the photo damage yet, but my skin has become, uh, you know, because I'm an oily skin person, so it's ideal for me. It might not be that ideal for dry skin people, but uh, I don't have experience with that, so I don't know about that maybe with more moisturization and all dry skin people can go ahead with it but for oily skin people this can be a bone because i have seen shrinkage of pores and uh, you know reduction of oiliness in my skin just in two months of huge usage and uh, there are some side effects that have the care, care has to be taken while using this uh, there is going to be peeling which i get peeling around my mouth and uh, chin uh, but then, you know, uh, that goes away with my microfiber cloth, which I use to cleanse my skin once uh, once a week. So in my first uh, month, I use this every uh, week. So once in seven days, I was using this. Uh, I started out in April, on April, uh, April in the beginning. So I was using it once a week for a month. And then this is my second month. I'm using it every five days. So first it was every seven days. Now it's every five days because we have to be very careful uh, in going in with it. Uh, and the next month I'll be using it every third day. And in the fourth month I'll be using it every, uh, you know, every other day. Because that's what my doctor has told me that, you know, if you want, uh, if you want the skin of your dreams in the, you know, much later, this is for the long haul. This is not like, you know one or two months you're gonna see a drastic improvement and then you stop using it and then you go on to the next hot product which is there so i'm planning to use it for years and years maybe decades maybe all my life you know because of the various uh, anti-aging benefits that it has it uh, it's proven to have anti-aging benefits hyperpigmentation it helps with hyperpigmentation it helps with your pore shrinkage it helps with your oil uh you know oil regulation in the skin and uh you know uh just it's the gold standard in skincare as he puts it my dermatologist so i'm just uh, uh, you know in it for the long haul and the only time when you can't use it is in during your pregnancy so you have to give it up for a year at that time and then you can start using it again uh, so this is the point to zero to five percent and once this tube is over i'm going to shift to point zero five percent but uh, we'll see about that so anyway there's a lot of uh, you know uh, information that it's uh, very drying and very bad for your skin and uh, not exactly bad but it's very harsh and it's very difficult to um, it's very difficult to you know like uh, have a good skin uh, skincare routine with it which won't give you dryness and patchiness but in my experience uh, I'll tell you something as an oily skin person this can be one of the best things that you can do for your skin and uh, this can be one of the uh, you know most uh, affordable skincare routine and the best skincare routine uh, because uh, because this costs around 192 and you just need a sunscreen and a moisturizer in your skincare routine and a good cleanser that's all you need 
so i'll just tell you in brief what i do in the morning i wash my face sometimes with water and sometimes i don't uh, uh, use the uh, sometimes i use the cleanser and sometimes i don't use the cleanser it's uh, like it, if it feels very oily then i use a cleanser and if the, if it doesn't feel oily then i don't use a cleanser so using a cleanser in the morning is very optional you don't have to use a cleanser every day and in the morning i use after my cleansing when my face is semi wet so i don't dry it completely when my face is semi wet i use this aloe vera gel because uh, in the morning you know like my skin gets oily with the sunscreen and uh, you know just my skin is in general oily so i use this aloe vera gel this is aloe vera aloe vera gel uh, it's 98% or 99% pure aloe vera gel uh, and then i go on with my sunscreen so i am using this sunscreen currently i go with this sunscreen and i use a compact on top of it because uh, you know my skin gets shiny uh, and then that's done for the day i get up uh, very late in this quarantine i get up around 10 12 1 whenever it depends on when i've gone to sleep so uh, you know so applying once is enough for me but if you get up around at 6 or 7 then maybe you should do it twice once at 7 and once at uh, midday so i use it around 12 maybe so i don't need to reapply it because the sunscreen is good enough for 4 hours i think and uh, then in the evening i double cleanse so i cleanse with the with the oil i use grape seed oil for cleansing and i cleanse with the oil and then i go on with my cotton pad or the towel the microfiber towel which i use and uh, then i go on with my face wash and after that i use the cerafil cerafil moisturizing cream this is a very gentle cream uh yeah so i use this cream and then it's done and you have to use tretinoin like just before you go to bed like if you're doing your night care routine at 9 o'clock and you're going to bed at 1 o'clock so you have to do this at 1 o'clock because you know even the uh, light from the tube light or any bulb in your house it can damage the effects of this like it can it will reduce the effects of this so it uh, i only use this just before going to bed and what happens is the skin barrier is repaired by then because of the washing of the face and everything so the cream is properly absorbed and uh, you know and uh, then it doesn't cause any side effects as such to me it has it has just caused some dryness around the mouth and that's it with uh, using it uh, every fifth day that is and um, yeah and at night so you want to make sure that you're only using this on the planes of your face which is your cheeks and i dot it on my cheeks and my forehead and that's it then you spread it along this area and here and whatever is left you you spread it around your nose and uh, so you have to be careful with the orifices of your face which is your nose and your mouth so don't bring it near your nose mouth and eye area so you have to be careful with this area but then the other area you can use around the other areas all right uh yeah so i'll keep you guys updated with this i'm very excited to use this so please subscribe to my channel uh you know if you want to come along with this journey of using tretinoin with me